Hello, hey, hi, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, today I'm gonna be making a video just because there hasn't been a lot of videos on this channel recently. I have made a lot of videos, well, once a week as, uh, as I'm supposed to do for uh, a couple of weeks that I was really, really on the line. I was doing everything great. But when I got back from my trip to Portugal, everything just went downhill. I was going to make my video about Portugal, but it's taking a lot longer than I was expecting because I haven't started the video yet. I'm looking for some music and it's not working. I'm not finding anything. So I'm gonna have to... It's gonna have to wait, I guess. I'm not finding what I want to do with the videos I took, so I have to wait to make my film because there's nothing that I want to do with these videos. So today I'm gonna be showing you what I bought in Portugal, precisely everything that I bought for myself because I bought a lot of stuff, but for other people. So everything that I bought for other people you won't see because I don't have them. Well, some I have because I give to my parents, but I have not everything with me, so I'm just going to show you what I bought for myself. Sorry for all the noise, if you can hear anything, my dad is watching a show or a movie and I don't know what it is, but he's putting it really really loud and... Uh, first uh, thing that I'm going to show you is a book, obviously, since I'm on a booktube channel. I bought Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll in Portuguese. So. The translation for that is Alice no país das mar maravillas, maravillas, whatever. It was illustrated by Tiago Albuquerque and Adriano Lamera. So yeah, the illustrations are really, really cute. Um, here you have a lot. Wow, I can't handle the book. You have a lot of illustrations really really cute and yeah I tried to read this and I didn't understand a word I knew the words like I knew some words because I could understand that they were the words in English or in French because I knew what the story but I don't like I started reading it and I was so desperate that I stopped just because Natoka do Kohelo Quero, quero. That's the title of the first chapter and I don't even know what that means. So we're gonna try later to read this. Second uh, thing that I bought is handmade. It's a handbag just like that. Little very very cute handbag. I really really love it. And the tissue is really, really smooth. It's handmade, obviously, as I said. The inside is very, very big for how it looks. It doesn't look like you can get a lot of things in it. When you open it, I uh, managed to put a lot of stuff in it while I was traveling, so that's really good. Every time I go on a travel adventure, I guess, I always buy these... Um, Wow, I have no words today. It's been too long since I filmed. You know, when you have your key and you have all these little thingies on everywhere. And all of my thingies that I have are from places that I've been. Except for that one. Because that one is from... Scotland? Iceland? I, I don't know. But one of my friend gave it to me, so I didn't go there, but... All of the other places, like you have Santa Clara and Cuba, you have Cuba in general, you have Mexico, and here you have Portugal. It is so good. It's just a little fish, well, a sardine, but you know, in Portugal it's the, the most common food in the whole country. It's just like that, a little, little fishy, and on here, and you cannot really see it, but it's written in Portugal. So yeah, it's really, really good. And now I don't know if I'm in focus or not. Am I? 
I'm gonna set up in focus and if I'm not, I'm sorry for the whole rest of the video. We went to Avero and in Avero they make uh, their own salt. So they really have like these industries with their these uh, baths of salt that they they make. Sometimes they collect the sand, the sand, wow, the salt. They collect the salt and sell it. Well, sometimes they use it for themselves, but they mostly sell it. And so I bought myself it'll, a little bag of salt, homemade salt. So I really, really like that. And the bag is so cute. It's just a little lady uh, going to cut some grass. And oh, with the thingy there is the thing you take to collect the salt. So yeah, I found it really, really cute. It's not sea salt, but because they were selling sea salt. But I was like, oh, I love these <laughs> little bags so much. So yeah, salt. It's not salt that you can put after uh, cooking. It's salt that you can put during cooking your food. Because the grains are really too big to put on the plates after everything is cooked. So you have to put it... Is it recording? Oh yeah, okay. So you have to put it while you're cooking your food. But it's really, really good. Well, I haven't tried it, but like, it's really, really uh, good uh, salt. In Porto, it was like a really, really vintage store that like, with big furniture that were like really, really too expensive for us. But we went in anyway just because I love vintage stuff and the lights were so beautiful. You cannot believe it. They were old, really old. Um, studio lights they were so beautiful and yeah so I bought myself not a light not a light I bought myself some instant films in black and white because I have a I have a a a I don't what what is called it's a a Polaroid I have an old Polaroid, which already has um, some uh, film inside and I have some here, if you've seen or not. And a lot of my shots are really really bad just because I didn't really know how it worked. So yeah, but I have this one, which is in the black and white and it's square. We, they had some in circle, but I didn't really understand why, because you kind of blur the well, not blur, but you cut the image if you keep them in round. So having them in square is having more space to put to take the picture. So the round ones were weird. And lastly, because I don't think I have anything else to show you guys, I bought at the airport. I was, I think I was really hungry. I bought some chocolates, but the. It's just the cover was so so ridiculously cute and it was so vintage. I really really loved it. I haven't even eaten any of these yet and it's been two weeks since I'm home. And yeah, they were just really really cute bag. Well, not bag, but they're just really really cute covers of chocolate and it, it's, it's ridiculous. So I have um, male chocolate. I have... Uh, chocolate with almonds and I have dark chocolate I think it's written chocolate preto which I believe is dark chocolate I also bought three well two bottles of Porto for my parents and a little little one for my boyfriend and they were <laughs> they're so good we went on a uh, tasting uh, thingy at a uh, wine factory well not wine porto factory which was called calam if you know this uh brand uh so we bought dry and white uh we bought the lbv uh, well that's it for these two we bought in calam and then we visited churchill's but we didn't taste anything but i just really wanted to buy a dry dry white for my boyfriend so i got for free a taste of their dry and white and it was so good so I bought like a little little bottle it's so cute it's 
just a really little little bottle it's oh, it was so cute so that was it guys i hope you enjoyed and i'm gonna see you soon i hope with a new video goodbye